Huh. I thought I would try a boat out, but it turns out this is not water. This is this is in fact ice. How's it going guys? My name is Fred and welcome back to Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. So last time, uh, we mastered building a helicopter. When I say mastered... Hmm. Yeah. So, so this time, uh, I thought... Well, I thought... We're not going to try a boat just because... Well, all the, all the water is frozen, which makes driving them difficult. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and build a plane. Uh, what I thought we should do first before actually trying to build a plane is just actually figure out how to fly a plane because I tried it that one time and it didn't go so good. So we're going to... That's that's quite a cool plane. I have, I have a feeling my one's not going to be as good as that. So anyway, let's try getting in this... Th oh, I should not put it on the ice. Let's start the engine up. Okay. And we press P. Actually, let's go on the interior view. And how the hell do we go up... And oh, okay. S is up. Actually, that flies... That flies pretty good, and we're going 200 kilometers an hour. How? Oh, okay. Twist is A and W, not E and Q, as I was expecting. So, that is much easier than I thought it would be. So, flying a plane, done. Let's get on to building a plane. Let's actually fly on over to the dome, which is, I think, this way. Yeah, I think. Uh, there's the dome. Let's fly on over there. I'll skydive in, like a action movie or something. I don't know. And then uh, we'll get about building something, hopefully, as good as this. And drop. Did I get it right? Oh, I did that pretty well, but i am got some vertical, vertical, horizontal velocity. Also, what the hell are those trees doing? Weird. Okay, so the, I think we need to start in the frame builder for the plane. So I don't know how big that last plane was, but we're just going to, we're going to guess. It should be pretty much fine. So I guess the wings need to be roughly in the middle. So the wings will come outwards from here. Um, so we need to build forwards and have a sort of a cockpity thing, and backwards and have a tail finny sort of thing. So that looks like a good sort of starting e structure for the plane. If we then have a curve five at the front, it should bring the front and the back up to. They should be level that and that. So that's sort of like the plane. The cockpit will be up the front here. And the tail fin will be off the back here. So let's just keep building this up in a vaguely plainy shape. I don't know if there's like a complete tail fin unit or if... I don't know. Let's let's just do it my way. So we want to have these two here going like that. Yeah, like that. And we're going to have the side of the plane doing like three line nines. So we have the side. That's six. Yeah, I think I, think I count six. The sides come along here. To match like the underside like this and then we do the same the other side like that and then in theory if I do another one of these curve things that I made in the pipe builder each side in theory it should all connect together yeah worked out pretty good awesome so that looks like a roughly plainy shape tail fin will go there uh, cockpit seat will go here-ish I might add some more line sort of threes down the middle to give it loads of connection-y points. Just a, just a ton of them. Just the sorts of stuff to stick stuff in the middle. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. The seat will go down here. And there'll be like this bracing here at the front. Uh, it's going to need wings. So the wings should be coming out of here. But I could make a biplane. That would be quite cool. So I'm going to do this. Uh, one, two, like, do like that on each side. I could even make a triplane. Yeah, let's make a triplane. Let's do that. And the same on the other side. Cool. So we'll have one wing here, one wing here, and one wing there. That's not enough on that side, is it? Okay, so those should be the same height. Should make a good triplane. Uh, I don't think we need anything else in the frame. I think it should be... F we could always add little bits later. So anyway, let's save the frame. It's going to be called the Vader plane. Imaginative, I know. Uh, bake this thing. Oh, God, I, have to, I have to write in the name every single goddamn time. Okay, cool. And now we head on in. Let's get this up. Lock that there. To the vehicle builder. Wait, has it not been saving my... It's not been saving my frames. What? That is rude, game. Very, very rude. Anyway, that looks good. Um, so now... Seat... Oh, God, not another one of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Seat goes... Somewhere... In here. So let's try attaching that one to there. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's try it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we want the wings. So 
Flat stump plane wing could be good. We've got that vertical wing, tail wing. Uh, let's see how big an MIG 35 wing is. That's a bit too big for what we're trying to go for. I'm going to go with the stump plane wings, I think. That's still quite large, but it should be good. So let's have one of those. Um, where was it? There. Yep. Let me stick the last wing on here. Triplane is coming together. That looks ridiculous. Okay. This is going to need an engine, I believe. So what should we power this thing by? Let's power it with small, small jet engines. Let's... How small are they is the first thing. Ah, that's actually not that small. So where the hell are we going to fit that? It's going to have to go somewhere like... Um... Here? Is that sensible? Probably not. Oh, I know where it can go. We can stick it in here. Yeah, but, but, it's gonna need, uh, how many out to the side? One or two little, like, cubicles just to, just to move it away so it's central. Is that central? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so, rotate that. That looks cool. And actually, um, I'll have another one on the bottom, I think. I think that's sensible. <laughs> No, not a cubicle. Have another jet engine on the bottom. Yeah, like that. So that should be kind of balanced. This thing looks like it could be very, very fast. I don't know how powerful these jet engines are, but I imagine quite. So let's get some fuel tanks and also the tail fins. Actually, this is going to need to extend out further to balance it out. And that should be all good. So if we do that, that should mean the tail fins. That looks like a sort of proportional distance. I might go one further, actually. I don't know if I'm allowed to go one further because it's outside the, uh, this grid thing, which is on the floor. Oh, I'm allowed to do that. So that looks like a good sort of... Mm, I'll, do, I'll do one more. And then it should be sort of like a good distance backwards. It's weird how it has this grid, but you can just go you can just go outside it. It basically doesn't mean anything. Anyway, uh, so yeah. And then we want some tail fins. Okay, that looks good. This actually looks sort of correct. It looks in proportion. Hopefully, um, like, beans aren't bendy in this game because that could be an issue. But anyway, I think that's all good. It just needs some fuel tanks. I don't know how many fuel tanks. I don't know. Jet engines do use the same fuel, don't they? I hope so. Let's just have some small fuel. Hopefully they can fit in nicely here. Yeah, that looks sensible. Okay, so I put these little pipes here to make this sort of like holder for all my fuel tanks. So if I just stick those under like this, and then the last one goes under here like that. So I've got my little fuel tank holder. Got the jet engines, got the wings. Got the tail fins. What else? I think. I think that's it. Let's add some. Uh, let's not add anything else just yet. But if it works really well, we can come and add more stuff later. So let's say. Oh, I have to name it every time. Let's save this. And we'll go into the, the fine. I can't remember. to do the fine tuny bit. What is it called? Tuny area. Oh, I was. I was close. And let's see if this actually works. So firstly, I'm going to do the auto rooty thing. Yep. So hopefully that's. Oh, these are not connected. So do the back two to that one. Let's do the front two to the bottom one. Seems sensible. I don't know how quickly we're going to go through this fuel. Let's do show fuel onto the seat. Okay, so the seat. That's connected to the seat. Those are connected to the seat. Uh, that looks correct. Show RPM. I don't think I need to know the RPM of the turbine blades. I think it's going to be quite high. We all know it's going to be high, but we won't really get anything. So anyway, and then the fins are all connected yep and let's try the other side yep and let's try the tail fins yeah so I think it's all good and I don't know how so wait actually that flap is going to be controlled by axis horizontal hopefully I don't know if we're going to need to invert it this flap is controlled by axis vertical as is this one and these are controlled also by axis vertical Okay, so I think it's all connected. Wait, is that thing showing my center of? Oh, that's showing my center of mass. Should be directly between the center of thrusts. So let's try. Take control of the seat. Control. Uh, lock the camera. Physics on. And let's try. Did I start the engines? No, that sounded bad. Also. <laughs> oh God. Oh, that's. How, how have vertical and horizontal been flipped? How the hell does that work? Okay, so I'm just changing over all the fins because apparently the horizontal and vertical axes have been flipped somehow. So now, when I do this... Oh, I need to control it first, don't I? Control, 
So now when I do that, why is that left and right? Who did? Oh, that makes sense. But that one, no, this does not. This makes no sense whatsoever. Ah, oh, now it's on axis vertical. For some reason, all of these just got flipped over for some stupid, stupid reason. So now, if I control this, huh? Oh, I I just need to invert the ones on. When I press S, when I press W, I want to nose down. Why? Oh wait, no, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, that's all good. So now, and that goes left and right. They may be completely reversed. I don't know. Um, the jet engines did not seem to work. But I don't know. Let's try it again. Are we controlling this? Yeah, we're controlling that. So let's do that. Start with jet engines. No. I think they take a different fuel. But I don't know what fuel. Maybe if I just click information, it'll say... No. Oh, okay, they do work. It's just you still do them using P and M. Okay, that's kind of cool. Maybe this thing will fly. I don't know. Um, let's bring it back here. Unlock the camera. Take a picture of a plane. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where's a good place to take a picture from. That looks quite cool. That looks a cool picture. Do that. Uh, I guess we could. The only thing to do now is just take it outside. Actually, no. It might need wheels. No, we'll just take it outside. It doesn't need wheels. So, spawn the triplane. Yeah. Get inside the triplane. All good. Turned it on. And we power up the jet engines. And hopefully, we can go forwards. Off the ground. Off the ground. Off the ground. Okay, I'm going to need a much more wide open space as a runway. This looks kind of good over here, so let's do it like... Yeah, like there. So I think when I throw it, it spawns facing away from me. So I'm going to want it facing that way. Just spawn there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Don't, don't fall off to one side. Get inside. Engine on. Okay, sounds good. And throttle up. Oh god. Go up! Go up! Are we flying? I think we're flying. No, 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 no. I can't really tell what's going on. Okay, I need to do some adjustment, I think. So I need... Yeah, I need to make the tail fins. How the hell did I land it like that? That's impressive. I need to make the tail fins operated by left and right so they twist it. Because at the moment, they just do up and down. I think if I invert that one. So now... When I do this, oh god, where's the thing? So now look, when I do this, if I go A and D, A and D, I think that looks correct. Okay, so we want a big R runway. This should be, should be fine. Spawn this here. Turn. Up, up. You're a plane, go off the ground. Maybe if I spawn it going up a hill, I can give myself like a boost start. And then when we go for the top of the hill, we'll just stay in the air. That would be great. That's pointing slightly off to that tree. That looks better. It's just annoying because it tilts off to one side like this. Because I didn't put any wheels on it, which is a, a bad idea, I think. So anyway, let's try throttling up. So we're just going to use this as a ramp. Oh, don't hit the trees. Don't hit the trees. I don't know which way's left and right. Just go up. Go up. 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 Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I think we did things. But how do I? <laughs> it's just backflipping. It's just backflipping. Ah! Oh, how does it always land like this? That is really weird. So, plane flies, but I have zero control. So what I might do is I might add some wheels. So now head on in here. Let's change these wheels. Actually, that might be all right. No, these front ones definitely need to be bigger because otherwise the engine is still going to hit the floor. So wheel type. What's the biggest one? Monster truck. Uh, is that hitting the wing? No! Oh, looks good. Wait, that's monster truck. But there's also something called monster truck big. How are these not big? Oh, that's only that's only a teeny weeny bit bigger. We'll have that. And then at the back, um, that might be fine. I might do dirt huge. Nope. Let's do dirt bike rear. Yes! That looks stupid. Maybe dirt huge? Should be big enough. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then same the other side. Dirt huge. 
I think you're ready to go. Let's save this thing, head outside. So the wheels will have added some extra weight to the plane, but shouldn't be an issue with the added stability we get. So we spawn the plane, and the wheels are on the floor. That's good. So this should help with the takeoff procedure, which at the moment is tricky. It makes a really weird sound when it turns on, but anyway, let's uh, throttle up my jet engines. Oh, it starts a lot easier now. And then up is uh, W or S? S. S is to go upwards. And W to... No, 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 backflip. Oh, and level off. Intr oh, god damn it. Level off, level off. Le oh, god damn it. <laughs> Where's it gone? I got out, but I can't see it anymore. Where did my, where did my plane go? Oh, okay. It's, it's doing backflips on its own. Is it going to come around and kill me? No, it's going to come around and kill itself, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, the center of mass is apparently too far backwards, so we need to add some weight at the front. What shall we use to do that? I think the only real way to solve this issue is to put a giant gun at the front. So let's stick this right on... Actually, let's put it on the underside. Put it right there. And it should be balanced. So hopefully our firearms addition is big enough to balance the plane. Uh, let's just... Let's see. Which way is upwards? S is upwards. S is... Yep. Okay. Oh, it's still back flipping? Yeah, that's definitely still back flipping. I think we're going to need a bigger gun. So as you can see now, I have added a much bigger gun, which should do more in the way of balancing the plane out. Hopefully it's enough. Can I actually get in anymore? How do I... What's the button to get in? E. Yeah, I'm inside. Okay, start the engines. Let's go forwards. Oh, is it balanced? No, no. What do you want from me? Anyway, let's just try firing the gun a little bit. Oh, it doesn't even fire. The gun doesn't work. The plane doesn't work. Overall, very unsuccessful. Is this that? Wait, 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 wait. It's off the ground. How have I... I don't really know what's going on anymore. Well, guys, it turns out planes very <laughs> quite difficult to make. Funnily enough, uh, never really, never really knew that. But yeah, now, now we know. I think it just ran out of fuel. Yeah, I think it did. But anyway, attempted to make a plane less successful than obviously my glorious attempts at helicopters and Formula One cars and stuff. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this. <sighs> it's, it's tricky. This game is tricky. I have to say. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I've been Vader. This has been Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. And I will see you guys later.